I've got a putting drill that I guarantee is gonna save you three, four, maybe even five strokes per round, and I can tell you this, it's different than you've ever heard before, and I bet you, you might even find it a little bit controversial. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy, and we all know that putting is 30, 40, upwards of 50% of the game, and if you can roll the rock, if you can make some putts, you can contend and beat anybody on the golf course. Now, if you haven't already, hey, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to join the family here at US Golf TV. We are putting out great content. We love hearing from you. Ring the bell, subscribe, leave a comment. I do my best to answer all of them. And I tell you, the other thing you want to check out is check out our website at usgolftv.com because we have unique content over there that you've never seen before. Now, let's dive right into this. What is this drill? that we want to do, that I guarantee is going to help you save three, four, maybe even five strokes per round, it is the one hand drill, it's the right hand only drill. Now, why does this work? Let's talk about this first of all. This is what I believe with putting, contrary to what you've probably been told. I believe, on the testing that we've done, we've tested this, the best putters in the world, in our experience, when they come in contact with the ball, the putter comes in contact with the ball, it is traveling on an ever so slight upward motion, okay, upward motion, and it also is in a slight de-lofted position. I want you to think about that, because that is different than what you've heard before. With putting, traditional instruction would say pendulum motion, okay, contact the ball at the bottom of the arc, neutral loft. I don't think that's correct. I think the best putters in the world, based on my experience and my studies, have a slight upward motion with a slight descending, excuse me, with a slight de-lofted impact position. Now, so how can we do that? And then we'll talk about the drill. First of all, anytime I'm working on ball position setup, I love using my Reimer Short Game Trainer right here. So I've already got it set up. I've got the arrow positioned so it's slightly forward of center relative to my body. So I'm going to take my lead foot, put it on the blue, take my, excuse me, on the B, take my trail foot, put it on the N, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean the shaft just ever so slightly forward. The most common mistake that I see poor putters do, weekend warriors do, is they have the ball too far forward, okay, and they have too much loft. So their ball's too far forward, too much loft. That is a recipe for disaster. So get that ball ever so slightly forward of center and get a little bit of forward shaft lean and then just go ahead and roll the rock okay and boom right in the center of the cup now the drill this is a drill if you've watched closely on TV you'll see tour pros doing this drill if you work with me you would be doing this drill and here's what it is you're gonna hold the putter in your trail hand your dominant hand now why are we doing that for a couple reasons number one if you're a right-handed golfer I want you to ask yourself this question what hand do I throw a ball with what hand do I shoot a basketball with what hand do I write with? It's probably your dominant hand, your right hand. That's where you have developed your most feel and touch and flow is in your dominant hand because that's the hand that you're using the vast majority of the time. So feel and touch, in my opinion, is a byproduct of your dominant hand. So the first benefit you're going to get is you're going to improve your flow and your rhythm of the stroke and the power. So if I just set in here, okay, and then I'm going to share with you the, the, the tip with this drill that Quite honestly, you've never heard before. So I just like to hit a couple putts with my trail hand only, and I'm just feeling that putter flow a little bit, okay? That's the first reason this drill works. The second reason, and this is what I want you to feel, and this is where I might be different than other people, is I want you to load the shaft and then hold it. Load and hold. So what do I mean by that? I'm gonna bring it up front here so you can kind of see this. So I'm in a neutral position, okay? Now, in my opinion, I want a slight de-loft at impact. Not a lot. We're talking maybe like half a degree, one degree, okay? So when you take it back, you're going to ever so slightly load it, okay? Slight load, and then I'm gonna hold it. So, load and hold. Now, what do most golfers do, or maybe even what are they taught? What do most golfers do? When they take it back, they have no load, and then they add. So no load, and then they add. And all of a sudden they deliver loft to the ball that's like a driver. And they struggle with distance and all those types of stuff. So I'm gonna make a couple practice strokes. Here I go, I want you to watch my right hand here. 
I'm going to load it and hold it. Load, hold. Load, hold. One more time. Load, hold. You know I like to do three setters. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pot it. Take my lead hand, okay, put it in my pocket, take it back, load it, and hold it. Okay, now that one I could feel I hit it off the heel, didn't trust it. Here we go. Good ball position. Load and hold. That was a little bit better, still a little bit low on the face, but good tempo and good rhythm. So next time you head to the golf course, you've got to learn to load it a little bit and hold it because you want to deliver this putter to the ball with an ever so slight upward motion, maybe half a degree, one degree. You want to have an ever so slight de-lofted club face position, putter position. And if you do those couple of things and you do this drill with your right hand, they're going to help you start rolling the rock and making a few more putts.